Virgos. Hey, my loves. What is going on? Happy Virgo season. Happy birthday to each and every one of you. You do not have to be a Virgo to enjoy this channel. I hope each and every one of you are doing really, really well. I am sending you a multitude of love, light, and positive energy. This is Empress Meek. Welcome to Closer to My Destiny's Tea. Let's get into your messages today, Virgo. If you're not having your best day, I'm sending you my love, light, and positive energy. This is the channel for healing, acceleration, high vibrations, motivation, encouragement, and healing energy. All right, Virgo. So, let's see what messages Spirit might have for you. This is going to be a quick read. It's morning here. I'm on the early morning grind. So, good morning to each and every one of you. I hope you're feeling well. Like I said before... All right, and if it's your birthday again, happy, happy birthday. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for bringing me here one more time with my Virgos and all who are drawn to your divine energy and your messages. Thank you so much for all you do in the divine realm, seen and unseen blessings you bestow upon us each and every day. Thank you for a beautiful day ahead of us. Thank you so, so much for blessings and abundance and victory in each and every situation we may face. We appreciate you keeping me and everybody who is listening under your divine hand of protection keeping us out of the way from any hurt, harm, or danger, blocking any negative entities, energies, witchcraft, wickedness, any negativity that may be coming up against your divine will for our lives. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, brothers, let's see what messages are here for you. Spirit, thank you for clear messages for the Virgo. Thank you for giving me messages of truth, love, and light. Ancestors, there it is. Thank you for the messages of Virgo. Okay, so Virgo, we have mature man here. Somebody could be dealing with somebody older. Um, there's some mature man in your energy, or Virgo. This could be one of my Virgos that are watching. Um, I feel like you are feeling settled. Uh, you're feeling established, um, very prestige. This could also be somebody older in your family, the head of the household. All right, but there's, there's something about a mature man, okay? Virgo, you can feel like you're getting older. Um, you, It looks like you're looking towards your future to see what's out there for you. Feels like you um, you may be feeling like um, time is ticking, all right? It looks like this man is waiting for something. So let's see what else. This could be a father figure also. Family worms. So we have um, Virgo, I believe this is you here. Especially since this is the first card out, usually represents the current. Um, I feel like this is you here thinking about not having stability, thinking about not having the life that you want. Um, you may have a home, you may feel established, you may be um, really happy outside of the fact that you don't have the family. You're waiting to meet someone that is good for you. Somebody could be moving, okay? This could be um, you moving also, Virgo, leaving a family home. Take the energy as it resonates, guys, and remember the energy can um, reverse, okay? So, for the family room being empty, somebody is reflecting on somebody leaving, something being over, um, not being able to be in this family home anymore. I'm feeling like it's something about home, something about it being empty. Yeah, that keeps pulling my attention that it's empty. But look, we have sudden wealth coming in. Somebody could have inherited a home, okay? Somebody could have could be buying a house because they came into a large sum of money. Someone may have some money coming in toward them, though. So, Virgo, this, this is good, okay? Somebody has a nice amount of money coming in, okay? And like I said, you could be moving out. It could be some type of settlement. Um, one more card for Virgo, please. Somebody could have definitely come into some money and bought a home. Could be waiting on money. Definitely sudden wealth is coming in for you, Virgo. For somebody here. Okay, take it as it resonates. Look, I wish it was me. <laughs> Look, let it be me, spirit. Message of concern is here. So there may be some type of message of concern that gets you in your thoughts. All right, so this is interesting. Let's see what else we have here. See if we can get some people or faces or something. Now we're going to tap into the tea leaf cards. After that, we're going to get um, a couple messages from Spirit to see um, for a little more reflection on the situation surrounding you. Then we're going to clarify with the tarot. All right, so let's see. So with mature man here, we have cat. Oh, we have a two-faced friend. So there's a two-faced friend here, somebody that can't be trusted. Um, could have been somebody that you were supposed to be in a relationship with. Could have been somebody that turned their back on you. I feel like there's somebody that could have turned their back on you. This has you in your thoughts, okay? 
I feel like maybe somebody left the situation, but let's see. I do feel that. I feel the energy of leaving um, a settlement, money, law, um, the lawyer, some type of alimony. Um, yeah. Let's see what else is here for family room spirit for Virgo. We have mountain, major challenge to overcome. So it's something about maybe somebody is losing their home. Um, but there's a major challenge to overcome here, all having something to do with a two-faced friend. Okay, definitely got to keep your enemies closer, honey. I'm telling you. Over time, my circle just, you know, something you can't indulge in all everybody's energy, you know. As much as you love people, as much as it's fun, some people is just, you know, it's not in your best interest to be around. All right, family wishes come true. Okay, so there could be something coming in for you unexpected, something that makes you feel really good. You won't be feeling like you hit the lottery, okay? Some of you probably did. I don't know. Like, uh, tell us in the comments, okay? Message of concern is here. So what's about this message of concern? Oh, we got bold. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. So stay your ground when this person comes in. There's going to be somebody coming in. I feel like trying to cause trouble, Virgo. We're going to put these tea leaf cards away so we can move on. But these cards flipped over. So we got hidden secrets that can harm you. We got you should accept valid criticism. And then we have shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So I'm getting in business-wise, money matters. You should accept valid criticism. Maybe somebody has some opinions for you that could be helpful for your business. We're going to put that to the side. But I'm getting here. Um, do not back down. And then hidden secrets that can harm you. So somebody is going to come in with a message or some type of communication. Um, this is going to require you to stay your ground, Virgo. There's a lot of stick here. I see this money coming in. Somebody could be trying to weasel their way back in your life. Let's see. But this is going to be important for you to pay attention. There's some hidden secrets somewhere around you. Something that you need to find out about, inquire about, something that you need to pay attention to. And the cards are telling you not to back down. So, okay, Spirit wants you to stay your ground during this time of opposition regarding this home and family situation. So, let's see. So it looks like a family situation is in upheaval. Sir, I want you to know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, trust in your divine guidance. Trust in your intuition. Trust that spirit is here to brighten your path and lighten your load I'm getting. Okay. Definitely keep hope. The light is the star card. This brings blessings and rejuvenation. So you definitely have some good coming into you. The tables are definitely turning in your favor, okay? So this is going to be a new day for you, Virgo. Yes, yeah, so we got the hope card here. Wow. Okay. Sarah really, really is encouraging you to keep the faith and stay strong. Believe and keep moving. It's something good coming. With this light card and this hope card, both are major arcanas. Both bring um, stability, rejuvenation, happiness, um, fulfillment of wishes. Okay. That type of energy. Blessed energy. Okay. Being held up in a time of need. That type of energy. What else is here for the Virgo spirit? Thank you for clear messages for my Virgo collective. What else do we have for Virgo? Show Virgo clearly what they need to know about this situation. Yeah. Financial and material changes. So there's going to be some significant changes in your finances. You got some good, good money. Some type of financial inheritance. Could be land. Um, but some type of wealth is coming in for you. And with this wealth, family wishes come true. So this is going to be a blessing for you and your family. Okay? You're going to be able to take care of everyone with this money. All right? But there is somebody here trying to cause opposition for you. And you need to stand your ground. The waiting game. All right? So this could be somebody trying to make you wait for something. Trying to put more time on something that they know is due to you. Um, Spirit is telling you to be patient during this time of waiting. And know that good things are ahead. Um, this is definitely going to be working out in your favor. Let's go ahead and dive into the tarot, and then I'm going to let you go, my lovies. Holy Spirit for Virgo. Show Virgo clear messages about this energy that is surrounding them. So let's see on this. You should take valid criticism in this work card. I just saw the devil card flip over. Speaks of addictions, manipulation, um, somebody that tries to dim your light, steal your shine. Okay, make you back down from them. That's opposition. All right, so I see this around you. So there's somebody bringing you toxic energy, somebody that could be toxic, bringing you negativity. 
This could be a Capricorn, okay? So let's go ahead. Spirit, show Virgo clear messages. This, you should accept valid criticism. Why is it here for the Virgos? You should accept valid criticism, Spirit, for Virgo collective. Why is it here? Okay. So these two cards are trying to talk to us. Okay, so I feel like the valid criticism is something about your passionate ideas. Somebody could be giving you passionate ideas, little indicators that can help you along the way. So try to be open-minded when it comes to your creativity and how you're moving forward. I feel like you have a lot of passionate ideas that you plan on moving toward. You could have been sharing this with somebody or somebody could have been <laughs> chiming in, Virgo. And you know, we don't always like that. But you know, this person, I feel like they mean well. All right, that's somebody. Okay, so let's move on. Spirit, what is going on with this heartbreak? We got the heartbreak card here. All right, so something heartbreaking, something that saddens you, um, maybe some news that puts you in your thoughts or maybe hurt your feelings a little bit or made you feel unloved or uncared for. Stop doing that. Tell me why my cat is under the table. He is pushing the tarot card boxes so they can fall over on the table while I'm recording. I'm not playing with them. All right, y'all. So we have Knight of Cups energy here. Um, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, water sign energy, or somebody that was showing passion. Um, somebody that is apologizing or trying to extend, um, some love to you or some type of warm messages. Okay. This person could have broke your heart and made you feel sad. Maybe it was something you were looking forward to that, um, couldn't happen. I feel some type of disappointment here. Great disappointment. Okay. I feel like you may have been looking forward to something and didn't happen. All right, this person could have extended some love to you or a message or talk to you about something a little bit. Um, I see them coming towards you in your energy, showing you that they care, okay? Um, but Virgo, it looks like the damage is already done. You're already in your feelings about it. This person brings you mental conflict, okay? Could have been some type of argument somebody is trying to apologize for, but they broke your heart. Something that they did to bring conflict. Spirit, show Virgo why this Three of Swords energy is here, please. All right, we have you being guarded with the Seven of Wands. No, this is Seven of Swords energy. Hmm. Okay, Virgo, so you're in this Seven of Swords energy. All right, Seven plus the Three is Ten, so you feel betrayed by somebody. As far as communications, could have been fights and arguments. Stop, don't do that. Stop bumping the camera, no. Okay. Could have been some type of fights and arguments, all right? Something that made you have to walk away from communicating with this person or being emotionally connected with this person. And Spirit wants you to know that there's light at the end of the tunnel. There will be other options for you. Yeah, there's going to be other opportunities. Whatever this is that makes you guarded, makes you um, in your head and feel betrayed, Um it's best you had to walk away from this person at this time. It looks like that's what you're doing and you're deciding to move on. This person could be asking you to move forward with this chariot energy. Hold on, Virgo. Yeah, this person looks like they're asking you to move forward. They could be calling you, texting you, messaging you back to back, asking you to move forward in this situation. And you just want to move on. You just want to be happy with this light card. It's talking about peace. Okay, resilience, purity, somebody could be holding themselves back, could be in their celibate, this celibate energy where they're not settling, they just want to reserve themselves for what's best for them, all right? And you're walking away from these situations that bring you arguments and conflict, hurt and pain, from these people that put you all in your head, yeah. You're, some Somebody is all in their head about this ending separation, um, this family breaking up, okay? And then there's money coming in and somebody causing you strife and trouble, you know, calling you, sending you messages, um, but you need to stand your ground at this time, people asking for money, okay, you can have some type of concern about money, some type of money that you were trying to go after, whew, Virgo, this is a lot, either way, you're going to get some communication from someone, someone's going to be rushing in towards you to talk to you about a relationship or to end a relationship, I feel like this yeah, wow, now we got the Ten of Swords here. So this is somebody that played real dirty, okay? This is somebody that 
betrayed you time and time again. This is somebody that is a man manipulator, a trickster. That's why we saw that devil energy from the beginning. All right, already made itself known. Somebody definitely betrayed you and doesn't have your best interests at heart. And with this tower card, spirit is telling you that it's time for you to walk away from this relationship. It's a lot of disrespect here, okay? And that's now I see why you had such encouraging messages from the beginning. Because I was feeling like these messages feel like something bad happened. But I didn't want to say it. I was waiting to see what comes out. Because you know how fast these energies can change. But that's what we have here. Definitely some type of ending. And you're deciding to move on your own. You're deciding to take your abundance, take your love, take your passion and invest it on yourself and your creative ideas to be stable, all right, and to be well off in the near future. You're not going to let this stop you, basically. This is you believing, knowing, using your intuition, your guides, all right, with these birds, okay? Feathers represent luck and stability. Mass represents you not wearing your heart on your sleeve, learning how to stand firm, and not show everybody what your plan is not show your head so easily all right being reserved and holding back all right virgo so that's your energy loves let's see what angel message comes out for you today we have goddess of the sacred path so it says let go of logic and trust your intuition so you're being encouraged to trust your intuition today, Virgo, at this time during this stressful situation. Y'all, this may not have resonated with everybody, but it definitely resonated with somebody. Um, this is a deep situation. Um, if you want a personal reading with me, you can email me at closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one, at gmail.com to look a little bit further into your story. But this was pretty deep, Virgo. Um, I wish you all the best, my love, and I suggest you watch this reading as many times as you need to and take spirit's advice um, when it comes to holding back and standing your ground with these people and your energy trying to cause you issues. All right, Virgos, now i got to find out a title for this energy. Wow. <laughs> I love you, love you, love you, and I will see you sooner than later. Bye, my loveys.